Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to create the search filter with the help of the Jet Smart Filters plugin. So you can create a new filter if you go to Smart Filters, Add New, and this is the window that you're going to get. So here you fill in first fields and then you proceed to the filter type. Here in the filter type, we select the search type for the filter. Placeholder is the text that will be visible in the field before the user types anything. So if you want this text to say something different, you can easily change it. Here in the search by dropdown, if you choose the default WordPress search, the filter will be looking for the query that user types in the search in the title of the publication. If you select the by custom field, which is the second option, you will have an option to enter the query variable. Here in the notes section, you've got a number of WooCommerce query variables. That's going to help you if you want to filter your products by the price, sales, weight, length, and other attributes. You can also filter your publications by the values from the custom fields that you add with the help of MetaBoxes. So I have created a MetaBox beforehand. And I've added a custom field, which now has the name or in other words, the ID, city. Now, when I will be typing my search query, the filter will be looking for the values in the custom fields that have the name city. Let's publish this filter. Now I'll go to post and show you how I have filled in that custom field. So here it goes. This is the custom field. And this is the value in the custom field. Now our next step is to try and filter some publications using the newly created filter. So this is the listing grid with the publications that have that custom field with some values. So here you can see the value that this specific publication has. Now I look for the search filter widget. And in this filter for dropdown, it will be Jet Engine because Listing Grid is a part of Jet Engine plugin. Now, to try this filter out, let's go ahead and have a look in the preview. So, now we can try typing in some queries. And what we see is only the publications that have this specific value that we have typed in in the search in their custom fields. And here we go. This is how you create a search filter with the help of JetSmart filter plugin for Elementor. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.